afternoon, everybody. Uh, the topic today, the to topic of um, my topic today is application of metabolomics to investigate metabolic change in normal aging process. As you know, aging is a shift of fully function to fail to function. And this is a, a system-wide deterioration. And uh, uh, during the aging process, uh, the all or the sum of mechanisms in the body work together and create the complex phenomena. The complex phenomena we call aging. Uh, many uh, researchers already have been reported about the uh, potential theory of the uh, aging. They uh, mentioned that aging is a failure of genetic replication, mitochondrial dysfunction, accumulation of oxidative stress, and uncontrolled inflammation, and hormone dysregulations. Based on the characteristic li uh, of life, uh, there are uh, some uh, for a general way which could decline in function with age. Uh, the decline in uh, the uh, first thing is decline in the capture and the utilization and the extraction efficiency of energy. And the other thing is the decline in structural or metabolic organization. And the decline in various functions also will do in the aging process. The final thing is decline in the fidelity of storage and the transfer of information. As you know, aging is affected by the many kind of factors like diet, genetics, epigenetics, and the environment. It uh, also uh, made the metabolism in the body, and the uh, aging is so very close related, closely related to the metabolism. Uh, so uh, the metabolism is very closely related to aging, and uh, uh, we, can, we have to uh, study the metabolism co uh, correlated with the aging process. Uh, this is a very familiar uh, omics cascade we already seen before. The metabolomics is the uh, last cascade in the omics cascade. So the metabolomics is the furthest down the line from gene to function and the most characteristic of the entire organism states and the phenotype. It is a real phenotype. So changes in the metabolome provide the best representation of the characteristics of decline in the function with age. Uh, we do uh, this relational layer. We wanted to uh, find out the metabolite biomarker uh, related to the aging process. We uh, especially uh, focused on the normal aging process, not the aging related to the disease. So we recruited the court uh, which, uh, who uh, approved to be normal. So it is very difficult to us to recruit the normal person, especially in elderly group. Um, uh, to uh, minimize the uh, environmental factors, we uh, recruited two separate groups. One study one is recruited in the, from the city region. This is a hole uh, located here. This is a westernized and very big city. Uh, 10 million people live there. And the other uh, place is Jeju Island. It is far from Seoul uh, area and it, uh, it is very beautiful uh, uh, island and we recruited the samples from the person in the longest village in Jeju Island. Uh, Jeju Island is designated as uh, UNESCO uh, World Treasure and several years ago. And um, in, the, in the two groups, uh, the younger and the elderly group is separated and we recruited. Uh, their age is uh, around, the in, in, in younger group, the around 30 to 35, and the age group, the, age, uh, the mean age is 70 and 75. And uh, the uh, gender and the age was matched with these two groups. We got the uh, serum and uh, we got the plasma from the those uh, subjects and then checked some Serum uh, plasma biochemical parameters like uh, albumin, glucose, total cholesterol, and something else. 
when we compare the, uh, this kind of uh, chemical, uh, plasma chemical parameters uh, with the age, we found that the albumin and uh, blood urea nitrogen and the creatinine value is uh, very closely related to the age process. Uh, and uh, the uh, uh, glucose and triglyceride level is also uh, closely related to the uh, age in CT subject. And total cholesterol and LDL level is uh, also closely related to the uh, age uh, in longevity related person. Uh, we our uh, uh, the number in the group is very small, so we take a special care in the statistic analysis. And we did the uh, F, uh, false discovery rate to remove the, our uh, errors in the statistical analysis. After getting the plasma samples, uh, we, prepare, we prepare the samples with a very uh, simple preparation process. Uh, plasma was deprotonized with uh, the 100 microliter of plasma was deprotonized with 30 micro of ice cold methanol, and uh, after getting uh, the supernatant, 100 microliter of supernatant, we diluted it with 550 microliter of water, and uh, we separated metabolite uh, using UPIC TOF mass. Uh, and we use the mobile phase, the mixture of acetonite and 1.1% formic acid. We did the metabolite analysis in both the positive and the negative ionization to detect more metabolite in the LCMS system. After that, we compared the metabolic profiling and identified the metabolite, which is responsible for the uh, separation of elderly and younger group. Uh, before the uh, statistical analysis, we did the reli uh, we checked the reliability of analysis. Uh, we first checked the repeatability and accuracy with QC sample. We mix the uh, some uh, amount of uh, we uh, take the some uh, same amount of uh, the samples from each samples and they pull up and then we use it uh, QC samples and the repeatability of retention time, of repeatability of ion intensity, and accuracy of exact max was, uh, uh, intensity was uh, checked. Uh, as you see in the uh, table, the CV is very good uh, in both of study. And uh, the Accuracy, exact mass, uh, accuracy of exact mass checked with the test mix. Test mix composed of the standard mixture. Uh, when we check the accuracy of exact mass, it is also very good. And uh, we also check the percentage of total ions that achieved the 20% of CV. It means that the peaks was, uh, the peaks was uh, in the uh, each chromatogram was checked and each area and each, each retention time was checked in every uh, chromatogram, and we uh, calculated the CV. And as you see in the uh, last part of the table, uh, the peaks uh, uh, achieved the 20, uh, within, uh, peaks in the within 20% uh, CV was more than 80%. So with this result, we conclude that this analysis is very reliable. This is a represented chromatograms. Uh, in the third one, we uh, get uh, some chromatogram in the positive and ionization and negative ionization. Uh, many kind of metabolites was detected and uh, we identified some of them in the chromatogram. We marked it here. In study two, the uh, similar kind of chromatogram was, ob was obtained in our analysis. So uh, some uh, metabolites are different, but some metabolites are very similar. Uh, we can uh, see briefly uh, the uh, metabolite identification in this chromatogram. Uh, with this chromatogram, we, di we did the PRSDA scopulus. As you see here, there are very clear cross between elderly and the younger group. 
it means that there is a very critical uh, metabolic change between the elderly and the younger group. So with this result, we, are, we did the metabolite identification. Uh, these are the uh, results of metabolite identification. Uh, uh, further identification of metabolite, we use the fragmentation and uh, the molecular formula. And uh, uh, we uh, did the database search and identificate the metabolite. This is the metabolite. This is the metabolite you are here. The most of them are repeat species, and some more are the amino acid. The, there are very uh, complex change trends uh, are shown here. The study to the similar profiles, uh, the change trend was observed, but uh, the uh, prostaglandins, eucotrans, and uh, uh, some uh, glyco uh, glycosyl spingosine was observed uh, uh, only in the study two. It means that um, there was uh, some, uh, they, uh, they are the, uh, the metabolites are uh, known as the uh, uh, inflammatory agent. So uh, it looks that the, uh, in study two, the, uh, the inflammation is decreased, can be uh, uh, observed. When we look over the correlation with AZ with this metabolite, uh, we can see this bar chart. Uh, the, uh, the spingosin and uh, rice phosphatidylcholine choline and uh, the, mm, the uh, long chain acyl carnitines are positively correlated with the age and the uh, free carnitine and uh, the tryptophan and some kind of metabolite is neg negatively correlated with the age. To find out what kind of metabolic pathway is uh, co uh, closely correlated to the aging process, we did the, uh, the pathway topology analysis. This is a pathology topology gram uh, uh, we get. As you see here, the, uh, in study one, spingosin metabolism and glyceroposomethylipid metabolism is our uh, find out to be very closely related to the aging process. In study two, the alkylenic acid metabolism and the spingosin metabolism uh, could, be the, could be related very closely uh, to the aging, cr aging process. And uh, also, the tryptophan metabolism is closely related to the metabolism processes. So we uh, find that the spingolipids and the glyceroposphospholipid and tryptophan the arachidonic acid metabolism uh, are very closely related to the aging process. Uh, when uh, we are checking the biological chemi uh, chemical parameters, the albumin, blood urea, urea nitrate, and the creatinine uh, is um, factors which showed the very close, uh, showed the very close relationship with AG. Uh, when we check the metabolic profile uh, correlated with albumin, blood urea nitrogen and creatinine, we find that the some uh, rice phosphatidine choline, the carnitine, spingomyosin, and the uh, nicotinic acid, oleic acid, th that kind of metabolite is very close to the, uh, those kind of parameters. Those parameters are uh, the marker of the kidney function, so we can uh, guess that the in age process, the kidney function is um, uh, and the kidney function is very closely related to the age process. Uh, and we summarize the uh, aging process and the, the alteration of metabolism. We uh, can uh, summarize the kind of uh, uh, responses. Uh, first one is alteration of carnitine homeostasis. Uh, as you know, carnitine and ash carnitine are effective de uh, de detoxification system to prevent accumulation of acetyl-CoA ester. And they are also closely related to uh, mitochondrial functions, 
like of beta oxidation and the energy metabolism. So um, if aging impair the kidney function, uh, the uh, metabolism of the carnitine and carnitine can be de uh, defected. So uh, we check the ratio of ascarnitine and carnitine. It uh, ratio was increased. It means that the uh, the usage of carnitine uh, is decreased, and uh, the ascarnitine could be accumulated in the system. So uh, the we uh, guess that aging uh, could be altered the carnitine homeostasis. And the other thing. Uh, is the alteration of pro-inflammatory response. Um, Lysophosphatase lipid is, uh, is rich in the cell membrane as cell membranes. So, if aging can damage the cell, per cell uh, membrane, the uh, level of lysophospholipid is increased. So, uh, the aging can be the uh, defective factor of the cell da membrane damage. Uh, uh, the other thing is the sphingolipid uh, li metabolism. Uh, it is a uh, uh, ubiquitous component of lipid membrane in cell membrane, uh, in membrane cell, and the source of signaling molecules. Uh, if the aging can damage the cell membrane damage, sphingosin uh, in the membrane can be related, and it moderate uh, the cellular redox homeostasis. So aging can be uh, altered the cellular redox homeostasis. So with the dojo result, we can conclude that the metabolic profile of elderly group was uh, pro pro the prominently distinguished from that of younger group uh, when we compared in the score for us. And uh, alteration in lipid metabolism, beta oxidation of fat acid, glycerol phospholipid metabolism, and the spingolipid metabolism were found to be associated with the aging process. And spingosian, the long chain acicarnitine and lysophosphate collins were identified as a characteristic metabolite involved in the aging process during which they can affect redox homeases and modulate inflammation. And the last one is the metabolic profile of the healthiest individual is related to the normal functions of the mitochondria, the primary organs are responsible for redox homeostasis, as indicated by their low carnitine to l carnitine nature at low level of rise of postpartial and spingosin in plasma. Thank you for your attention for my presentation.